in this video i will discuss about decoder the definition of decoder and how to construct 2 is to 4 decoder let me start with the definition of decoder decoder is a combinational circuit which has multiple inputs and multiple outputs so decoder is considered as a combinational circuit it consists of multiple inputs and multiple outputs similarly in general decoder has n inputs and 2 power n outputs decoder converts one coded signal into another coded signal now let's see the block diagram of general decoder circuit so this is the general decoder block diagram so let me call this as inputs so these are n number of inputs these are n number of inputs that is n inputs that is this is first input second input and so on and here we have nth input similarly these are the outputs it has 2 power n outputs so this is the general block diagram of decoder in which we have n inputs and 2 power n outputs now let me concentrate on 2 is to 4 decoder 2 to 4 it is also known as 2 to 4 decoder that is 2 to 4 decoder or it is also known as 2 is to 4 decoder so let me draw the block diagram of 2 to 4 decoder so 2 to 4 decoder has two inputs and four outputs that is this two indicates number of inputs and this four indicates number of outputs I will I will specify here it has 2 is to 4 decoder it has two input and four output okay let me take a and b as inputs and let me take y0 y1 y2 and y3 are outputs so these are outputs and here a and b are inputs So now we will try to construct circuit diagram for 2 to 4 decoder. So before proceeding let me write the truth table for 2 to 4 decoder. So in 2, two to 4 decoder we have two inputs A and B and we have four outputs that is Y0, Y1, Y2, Y3. As we know it has two inputs. So the possible inputs are 2 power 2 which is equal to 4. So the possible inputs are either A is 0, B is 0, A is 0, B is 1, another possibility is A is 1, B is 0, another possibility is 1 and this is 1. So these are the possible inputs for the decoder as it is having two inputs. Now it has four inputs. So in decoder any one of the line will be always high that is when input is 0 0 then y not line is high rest all outputs are 0 this is the characteristic of decoder that is when both the inputs are 0 then 0th line is high that is here when both inputs are 0 0 this line is high rest all lines are 0 similarly when a is 0 and b is 1 in that case y1 line is high rest all are 0 that is here when a is 0 and b is 1 then y1 line is high rest all lines are 0 similarly when a is 1 and b is 0 y2 line is high rest all are 0 that is here when a is 1 and b is 0 then y2 line is high rest all are 0 Similarly, when A is 1 and B is 1, we have Y3 line is 1, rest all are 0. So, thus we have written the truth table. As we know, truth table gives the relationship between input and output. Now, we will try to write Boolean equations for the Boolean equations or output equations for the decoder. So, here to write the Boolean expression or Boolean equation, we should concentrate on output variables now let me write 
the equation for output y not so now we have to concentrate on y not line here it is high for here it is high rest all cases it is zero so now y not is one for the corresponding inputs when a is zero and b is zero so i can write output equation for y not as y not is equal to so it is one for input a equal to zero and b equal to zero we have to write it as zero is for a we have to take it as complement a complement and zero is for b that is b complement that is a dash b dash this is the output equation for y not similarly here we have one in y1 column here we have one rest all cases it is zero the corresponding inputs are zero and one now let me write for y1 that is y1 is equal to so here 0 is for a 1 is for b so we have to wherever there is a 0 we have to take complement of variable if it is 1 we have to take direct variable so here it is 0 so 0 is correspond to a that is a bar and here it is 1 which is with respect to variable b that is b so y1 is equal to a bar b similarly in y2 column here we have one so y2 is equal to corresponding inputs are a is 1 b is 0 so we can write it as a b bar this is y2 output similarly in y3 column here we have one corresponding inputs are a is 1 b is 1 that is y3 is equal to a so these are the boolean equations or output equations i can write output equations now let me draw the circuit diagram so here we can see that y not is equal to a bar b bar so we have four outputs and here we can see that to implement a bar b bar i need one and get to implement a bar b i need one and get to implement a b bar we need one and get as well to implement a b we need one and get so to implement all the outputs we need four and gets and here we can see that a bar input is there as well b bar input is there to implement a bar and b bar we need two not gets two not gates so i have used two not gates and four and gates so let me consider the first inverter input is a as we know output of inverter is a bar let me take this as b here it is b bar so i will consider this as y not output y1 output y2 output and this as y3 output so here let me implement y not y not is equal to a bar b bar so we supposed to connect a bar and b bar to the first and gate so because it is y not so connect a not a bar here so this is a bar and we have b bar is here let me connect b bar to this and gate so here output of this is we have a bar b bar now let me draw y1 output so here y1 is equal to a bar b so here we have a bar this is a bar let me connect a bar to one of the input here and another input is b so this is b let me take b from here and connect it to this and gate so here output is one input is a bar another input is b that is a bar b y2 is equal to a b bar we have so here we have a and here we have b bar so let me take a here so this is a i can take like this so this is a 
and we have b bar b bar is here i can connect b bar so this is a b bar next y3 is equal to ab so here let me draw y3 so here it is a signal i will take from here this is a signal and we have i can take b signal from here so here the output is ab so this is the complete circuit diagram for 2 to 4 decoder now we will consider 2 is to 4 decoder with enable input so this is the 2 is to 4 decoder which we have already studied so sometimes there will be a enable input so in that case it will be having two inputs along with that with these two inputs there will be one more input known as enable input usually we will represent it as e so let me draw one more input i will give one more input like this so this is another input to the decoder which is known as enable input that is e so it now i will explain how to draw the circuit or how to generate 2 is to 4 decoder circuit with enable input let me write the truth table so here we have three inputs as usual e is the enable input we have a input and b output y3 y2 y1 y0 are the outputs as usual so here the possible inputs are 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 so this enable input acts like a gate so as long as enable input is 1 this decoder will work if enable input is 0 decoder is in reset state that is if e is equal to 1 then decoder decoder 2 is to 4 is active that is else if e is equal to 0 output is is 0 irrespective of inputs that is here if e value is 0 irrespective of inputs that is a and b either a is 0 or 1 b is 0 or 1 that is irrespective of input that is don't care don't care is used when the input is not sure so here a is either 0 or 1 b is either 0 or 1 so as long as e is 0 output is always 0 as i said here if e is 0 output is 0 so here i have taken e equal to 0 irrespective of input output is 0 itself now as i said if e is equal to 1 then decoder 2 is to 4 is active that is so as when e is 1 a is 0 and b is 0 so as we know why not line is high rest all case it will be 0 similarly when e is 1 decoder is active when a is 0 b is 1 y1 line is active rest all are 0 so when e is 1 when a is 1 b is 0 y2 line is active rest all are 0 similarly when a is 1 and b is 1 y3 line is active now we will see how to write the output expression or output equations so here we have 1 so i can write y not is equal to the corresponding inputs are e is 1 a is 0 b is 0 so i can write it as e a bar b bar so similarly for y1 i can write y1 is equal to corresponding inputs are e a bar b that is e a bar b Similarly, for Y2 line, the inputs are A is equal to 1, B is equal to 0 and enable is equal to 1. That is, Y2 is equal to, we have E, A, B bar. So now, similarly, Y3 is equal to, here we have 1, it is E, A, B. That is, E, 
a b so when we compare these output equations with the previous equations only e is added in all the equations now let me draw the circuit so here this is 2 to 4 decoder circuit so for the same circuit we supposed to add one more input that is e i will tell you how to add that so let me take another input e so as i said here y not is equal to e a bar b bar so already a bar b bar input is there we supposed to add one e so this e line will be connected to all the inputs of and gate that is it is connected to here it is connected to this and gate it is connected to this and gate and it is connected to this and gate so this is the circuit diagram for 2 to 4 decoder with enable line so if e is 0 as we know if any one of the input is 0 for and gate all outputs will be 0 if e is 0 all the outputs of and gate is 0 so outputs are 0 if e is 1 then depending on the inputs either y0 or y1 or y2 or y3 lines are high thank you for watching